All right, guys, so before your client even gets here, you wanna make sure you get your bed ready. Now, keep in mind, if you are waxing, you will have clients who are pregnant or clients who have you know, um, health issues and they cannot lay on their back flat. So you're gonna to have to get a bed that actually rises where you can adjust it. So I'll leave it here and when she comes in, I'll ask her if she's comfortable. Um, depending on what she says, I'll either move it a little bit down or further up for her. Just to make sure she's comfortable, that's the top priority, guys. So don't forget to reposition your bed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as promised, we got a pregnant lady, woo! <laughs> All right, so waxing pregnant women, guys, it's nothing different than waxing someone who's not pregnant, okay? Remember, do not treat your clients like they're handicapped. They hate that. So we're gonna start off by cleansing, of course. And as you can see, um, we got her belly in our little camera, little cameo. And she's not laying down flat, so it's a little harder to have the whole entire bikini area exposed to you so where you can see. But we're going to get through it, and that's why we're doing this video today. We are going to start off with the bikini line. Remember, nothing changes. And one thing that I like about waxing pregnant women... How's the temperature, hun? Good. One thing I like about waxing pregnant women, guys, is that their belly, it kind of holds the skin top for you up there, which is awesome. And every now and then, too, guys, you might feel the baby kick. So that's also a nice little special moment, especially for you moms out there who are waxing. And, of course, as always, I'm going to try to make sure I hurry up, you know, and be as uh, fast as possible, only because I want to make sure she's comfortable and her legs don't cramp up. So a lot of you might be thinking, like, oh, well, why can't she lay straight down. Guys, remember, once it passed the first trimester, you don't want to lay them down. That baby is sitting on so many organs and stuff. They're already very uncomfortable, and it can cut off their breathing, guys. So keep that in mind, okay? I do see some videos with pregnant women laying down, and that's not right. So now we're going to move on to the top. So you notice how I don't have to hold anything tall, but I just like to place my hand here. I like to get my little kicks in. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I actually find it easier to wax pregnant women. And then we're going to do one on the labia. So guys, the same thing, you notice I hold everything over, but this time it's a little different. I'm not doing this, I'm doing this. Every vagina is different. So keep that in mind. There's gonna be creative ways to getting in there and getting the job done. And in this case, guys, if she was laying flat, I'd be able to see all the way down here, but I can't do that right now. So I'm adjusting myself uh, in the wax just go a little down on her, I just guess I'll call it her little booty meat area. <laughs> so I can actually be able to remove that strip successfully. So remember, it's not always the same technique and patterns. Take a deep breath. Pressure. There we go. I know the baby's probably thinking like, what is going on up there? <laughs> so sometimes you guys have to get creative with your waxing and just make sure you're following the hair growth pattern. That's very important. Don't break that. Uh, don't break that, guys. Just keep that in mind when you are waxing. Always follow the hair growth. And waxing while being pregnant, guys. You know everything is a little more sensitive for your clients, so it's important to let them know that. Most clients who's been waxing for a very long time, they don't really notice a difference, you know, but. Those who are inconsistent or trying it for the first time while being pregnant, definitely more sensitive. Okay, so we're gonna give this a little lift. I know. And then actually my strip broke right here, but I'm gonna show you guys, just take your stick. Don't keep going. If your strip breaks, guys, you gotta fix it before you remove it. Take a deep breath, pressure. And one more deep breath, pressure. Beautiful, guys. You're doing fine. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna take this one off. Take a deep breath, pressure, and soup. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, guys, is the other labia. And we're going to move this over. And you notice how you can see everything? That's what you want. 
You want a whole view of the area that you are about to evict the hairs with. It's eviction time, guys. And for a pregnant lady, yes, her hairs are very thick. <laughs> that, having a baby changes your body, guys. Not just in the inside, the outside. Everything changes. So keep that in mind. You might have a client that didn't have so much hair not being pregnant, and then all of a sudden it's just like cabal, you know? So we'll get this up here. And remember to always keep moving. And pregnant women obviously can't see down here after a certain point. So it's important, guys, when someone inboxes you and they're like, do you wax pregnant women? To make sure that you educate them and lock them in so they become your client. All right, so this one's already dry. You guys already know I'm using mermaid wax. So mermaid wax does not play around when it comes to drying and helping you complete these Brazilian waxes quickly. Take a deep breath, pressure. Take another deep breath and pressure. So remember guys, fist or back of the uh, back of your hand, okay? This one's already dry as well. Take a deep breath, beautiful. So all we have is this one little section here and then everything's just clean up from here. <sighs> yeah, she's doing great. So we'll grab this little section here. We'll kind of do a little clean up with it too up here. So remember, even with pregnant women, even more, the wax may feel warmer to them, guys, because they're so sensitive. So make sure you're communicating that with your clients. You know, apologize, because I'm actually picking up the wax in the center of the wax pot where it is, you know, the coolest. But because she's pregnant, it's definitely going to feel warmer for her. Take a deep breath and pressure. I'm gonna add some cornstarch to cool her down, and then we're gonna get these little cleanups out of the way. And cleanups, guys, as always, what goes down must come up, so you know I always reverse my strips application. So in this case, I'm going to do a clean up here. And I'm actually gonna just take it all the way up here. And once you feel more comfortable waxing, you feel more advanced, guys, you definitely can make your strips a lot bigger and make them to your liking. For instance, I'm gonna grab some more wax and I'm just gonna do this whole entire thing here. I know. That way you can just get it done in one and she doesn't have to be in this position for too much long. I actually can go ahead and do the other side as well while that one's drying. And remember guys, you guys can always twirl your stick, you know, just to let the wax cool down a little bit. And what I'll do is I won't do a big one on this side. I'll just do, come back and do the opposite section that I didn't do. See, it wasn't too bad. No. Uh -huh. mm -mm. She just got all that anticipation building <laughs> up, guys. And if you're a waxer, by the way, you need to make sure you get waxed. I know a lot of times, you know, you guys want to become estheticians or you want to, specialize in waxing, but you've never received a bikini Brazilian wax yourself, it's important, guys, because then you would know how to handle your clients. All right, we're going to do this last strip right here. I'm going to let this cool down. So remember, just keep twirling. You literally can do this all day, and the wax will never fall off the stick. I'm just going to put some up here and then kind of just spread it. I just know that she's a little sensitive in general and now she's pregnant. So she's double sensitive. 007, baby. Bond. James Bond. 
And yes, pregnant women do get ingrowns, guys. Um, so like she has one here that the wax pulled up, which I'm grateful for. And we're gonna clean up wax down here. We'll get all down there with the butt strip. So I'm gonna have her slowly relax her legs. And I'm gonna do a nice big clean up strip up here before we get her butt strip. And most pregnant women, guys, not all of them, once they get pregnant, they start noticing that they grow hair on their stomach. So it's a great way for you to add on the stomach strip if you see a lot of hair. She doesn't really have any, but I'm just letting you guys know, just in general. Did you have a lot of hair in your last pregnancy on your stomach or no? Mm -mm. Oh, so she's one of the lucky ones. <laughs> a lot of hair on my butt. Oh, she said she has a lot of hair on her butt, guys. I think she's trying to scare me away. <laughs> I don't know where it's from. And then I'll get the lower part. If my wax is still on the wet side, guys, I just keep, you know, moving it and making my strip wider. It's important if you feel like you picked up too much wax, guys, to utilize it. Make sure you clean up the wax. Clean up this wax here. And then we'll get some of this on there and get her ready for her butt strip. All right, moving on to the butt strip. As you can see, I have her laying on her side. That is absolutely the best way to do a pregnant woman's butt strip. Um, because she can't lay on her stomach. So just make sure you dry the area, guys. And just because she's pregnant, it doesn't mean I'm not going to ask her for help. It is okay for her to hold her butt cheek open for me. And I'm going to start off with the side that I can visibly see all the hairs. There's no blind spots or anything. And just make sure the wax is a good temperature for her. Now, she did have a lot of hair in her butt strip. So I just wanted to make sure that she really got cleaned up well, especially because she can't really do anything for herself, right? Then we're going to remove this strip and get ready for the opposite end. All right, so I have my application of wax on the opposite end. I think I might have noticed a couple spots that needed a little bit more wax. So remember, it's okay to go back to your wax pot and just, you know, add it where you see that it's needed. All right, and then we're going to remove this one. I had a hard time removing this strip, guys. It just got a little warm um, in between her butt cheeks. So just remember when their skin is warm and the wax is warm, it makes it a little harder to take the strip off. But it finally came off, and I cleaned all the wax that I noticed that uh, remained on her. Because remember, we don't want to send anyone home with wax. It can make them feel very uncomfortable and sticky later on. So always analyze um, when you're doing a butt strip if anyone has what I call a tail feather. In which most cases, a lot of women do. It's just a little hair that's more on the upper um, part of the, the butt strip. So you just want to make sure you grab those for them if you notice it. And we're done. Guys, please don't forget to like this video, to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, drop a comment below for any feedback or any questions that you may have.